what is up? What is up? I believe we are up. Hopefully we are rocking. 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 Yes, you can still rock in America, as they say. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How's everybody doing on this lovely, lovely Friday? Cheers from Southwest Orange County, Florida. It is me, Tom Sorrells, coming to you live and in living color from the Tom Sorrells Broadcast Complex. Here inside the spacious complex, do we have audio? I need to know, I need to know. Let's talk on the street, said you might go so low. Let's see. If I'm... Oh yeah, we have audio. Life's good, things are great. Okay, good, good, good. Tone this back down, tone this back down. Man, I was off yesterday, took a day off. It was me celebrating either, because I worked on January 2nd, which was New Year's Day observed, and I worked on Martin Luther King Day. So I picked up a couple of companies. Hey, Angie Bates Holloway, how are things in Greenbrier? Hey, Bobby, are you still out there? Up in the snow somewhere, and John Wilson's here, and the audio is good, thank you, Sean. It's always my big fear, because when I started doing Talk to Tom all those years ago, the audio would disappear on me without warning. I'm like, oh my God, my audio's crashed, what's going on? But I think I've got all that trouble shot and fixed, and blah, blah, blah. How's my camera looking? How's my camera looking? There we go. Gotta get the magic hat on. Today's cap, sponsored by Orlando Magic. I'm not sponsored by the Orlando Magic. I'm not sponsored by anybody but me and the powerful WKMG. Evaporation here. Oh, cool. Um, Major Bates Holloway said good morning again. And yeah, didn't tell me. Toby's over in the corner. He's hanging out in the chair. We may try to get Toby on. I probably need to lead with Toby. Everybody loves him so much. Anyway, I was trying to talk about what. Yeah, I said your name. I'm sorry, bro. You're okay. Anywho, um, I was off yesterday. Mitra and I stepped out on the town last night. Did you have a good time last night, Miss Meat? I had a great time last night. We did. We went downtown to the Dr. Phillips Performing Arts Center here in scenic Orlando, Florida. Great place to see a concert. Acoustics pretty good in that place. And we saw Jason Isbell. And he was awesome. And his wife was with him. Amanda Shires. Um, last time we saw Jason, the only other time we've seen him, we took a trip to New York City to visit our child. And we saw Jason at the pier out there. What pier was? Pier 47, Pier 37, Pier 19. What pier is that? I don't remember. We don't remember. But we had a great time, and she was not with him that time. He was just with the 400 unit. And uh, last night she was there. Man, is she good. Man, are they great together. Lord, I had a great time being off and going to the show. So today I'm back. Back in the saddle again. Where is Mama? Mama's down the hall. Miss Meacher's across from me. Dog is to the right of me. And thing one is over. Hey, Karen Haley Thompson. How are you, love? I've known Karen since I was five. Karen's my homie. We did kindergarten together at the First Baptist Church in Greenbrier, Tennessee. You need to get to more concerts. Yeah, you do. Live music is great, and it's great that it's back. You know. And we have three in three weeks. Uh, we have three in three weeks. Meet you just. Hey, you know, I I I can't stand these people who post crap on here. I'll go blow this dude out later. This troll. Who just came on looking for work from home? No, dude, we're not. We're just all hanging out. Loving life. Good for you, Karen. Um, your daughter is my friend now on Facebook, too. Yeah, love her. She's right up my alley, just like you are. Um, Dodger Stadium in Wrigley Field. Has your mom moved back to Florida? Yes, Angie Bates Holloway. Mama's here to stay. I'm not bringing her back to Greenbrier. She's staying down here with us in Central Florida. It's all good. Good morning. Finally a live hit. Debbie, I, I was here. This is the fourth time this week. I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. This is day four out of five. I did not go yesterday because, you know, because I was off and had so much to do. Okay, let me dive into the weather, and then we'll talk more about me. And Did everyone watch? Did anyone watch at 5.30 yesterday on the powerful KMG? Even though I was off, the talk to Tom that we shoot for TV did air. And Michael was on it, dressed up in his Philly garb. Michael made his Central Florida debut yesterday on Talk to Tom. Ernie Banks, Bud, and Wrigley. I've never been to Wrigley Field. I've been to Chicago a few times, but never to Wrigley, and I've never been. What else is Dodgers? No, I've never done Dodger Stadium either. Um, I've seen it, but I've never been inside it. I've never been inside any of the stadiums out west. None of them. I did, I touched them. What I, 
what I like to do, <laughs> Demetra puts up with this. Wherever we go someplace, if there's a stadium, ooh, ooh, I want to touch it. And I'll walk up and touch it so I can say I've been there. Like Harvard Stadium, we went to, you know. And we no, no, let's not walk by it. Let me, I want to touch it. Just touch it. So when I see it on TV, I want to touch that. I've been there. I touched that place. And I've done that at, like, Longhorn Stadium in Texas. I don't know what they call that place. But where they play football, long time since I've tuned in to live. Mary, you should be here. Be here. Be here. Met a lady last night at um, the DPAC who said she talks on here a lot. Oh, yeah, I did Tiger Stadium, both of them. I've done the original Tiger Stadium and Comerica Park. I did batting practice. I took batting practice at Tiger Stadium a couple of times. So I stood right where Ty Cobb stood and Babe Ruth and all the biggies, you know. Crazy, right? And then they tore it down because this is America and that's what we do. We tear down our old, st our old stuff. We don't keep it, you know. Coliseum is still over there in Rome, but Tiger Stadium had to go. Really? Okay. But that's just me talking. His mutual will tell you I don't like to get rid of anything. <laughs> and so to tear down Tiger Stadium was, you know, against every fiber of my being. Let me talk weather before the whole day gets away. Before I confess too much about, you know, too much. My psychological idiosyncrasies that would keep me from. <laughs> too much about too much. Too much about too much. Make you think I'm cray cray. For not one. Oh, oh, are you leaving? Are you leaving? Wave at me. Wait. You're not leaving? I'm not leaving. She's filing stuff. I thought you were going to get. No. Mitra does not like to appear on Talk to Tom. She doesn't mind talking on Talk to Tom. She doesn't like to appear. And so she, I thought she was going to appear for a second. Am I, am I correct in my assertion there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's go with the weather. Here's what's going on, the overall setup for the weekend into Sunday. You see the big big problem is going to be over in the northeast side of the country. I, I focus on that because my children are going to be there. I'm going to have one in Jersey and one in Boston by Sunday. And here goes the nasty storm, upper level system rocking all the way up into the northeast for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Here's the way it goes. Friday, we're doing well. This is today. Precip from Detroit to Cleveland, all along the zone, and the upper level system jets out to the northeast, from New York City to Boston, all the way up south of Montreal. Never been to Montreal, but I just might go soon. Here we go, a lingering snow chances as the system departs. Here's the graphic I want you to see for the northeast, if you care, if you have kids going up there like, you know, your friend Tom Sorrells does. Big time snow, big time problems, better chances for heavy snow in western mass all the way around to Pennsylvania, all the way to Pittsburgh, almost into Pittsburgh, east of Buffalo and south of Montreal. That'd be the zone. Let's focus on Florida. Everyone should come to Florida. One system near the northeast, another one southwest, and you'll see the zonal flow continues across our beloved Sunshine State. So as we go into Sunday, that continues. We'll start to warm up again on Sunday. We're going to have a cool Saturday, but by Sunday, things are awesome around these parts. Moisture ahead of the next system will aid in the rainfall, but that stays well to the north of central Florida. I don't think our rain chances are going to be very high at all. I'm not going to make them very tall. And here we go into Saturday. The moisture still continues to funnel from St. Louis to Memphis, all the way down to Houston, Baton Rouge. Here's live weather radar for the moment in Orlando, coming out of Melbourne. You see the activity is nada. We have nothing to focus on, and it's great. Great, great, great. Fertile zone is passing. This morning, it's clearing up and feeling a little bit cooler by tomorrow. Notice any explosive stuff with this is either way up in the northeast where we've already addressed the issue or way out in the Gulf of Mexico and south of our area. So we don't have anything to worry about. Clouds and rain forecast Saturday. You see the northerly flow here continues for tomorrow in central Florida as the system has cleared us. The frontal zone will have cleared us. Let me pull this up. Frontal zone south of us going into the Florida Straits. Big ridge of high pressure builds in. Look at these wind barbs. Coming down the modeling, all that northerly flow for Saturday is going to keep us cooler. We're going to have daytime, didn't mean to do that. We're going to have daytime highs into the uh, upper 60s. That's going to just about do it Saturday and Sunday. And you'll see the way things advance. I hope it advances. Go advance, would you? Saturday into Sunday, the northerly flow just keeps pushing. And the warmer air gets to us by Saturday evening. So into Sunday, things are going to rapidly improve around these parts, and we are going to get warmer. The next low misses us to the west and north and drags yet another cold front toward us. 
with maybe a better chance of storms by the time we're talking Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll check out the extended forecast in just a moment. All right, let's talk temps. It feels great. I mean, great outside right now. It's cooler in Little Rock and Nashville, 41, 42, but 77 in Miami. We are two degrees warmer in Orlando than we were yesterday at the same time. The front is just now kind of pushing through the area. You'll feel the impacts more tomorrow. Second day is always the coldest once the front gets through. Here's a look at the tropics. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Love it when it's quiet. 65 in Gainesville, 62 right now in Ocala, 73 beautiful degrees in Melbourne, and 70 in Daytona Beach. Come to Florida. Life is better under the palm. Okay, today's daytime high approaches 80. We're going to have a beautiful day. Loads of sunshine, 78. But look at this extended forecast. Low tonight, 56. High tomorrow, 68, with a slight chance of rain. Then on Sunday, a high of 82. Monday, 71. And all next week, there you go. Second front that comes in on Monday drops us to a high of 71 with a slight chance of showers. But all next week, we're pretty good until another cold front jets in here late Wednesday into Thursday. There's your forecast. Womp. There it is, as I like to say, too much. All right, let's go see what those dew points get so low. I rode splash three times, not a high to, oh, cool. And Brian Coleman said, nope, that's in plan to ride the splash. No, I'm not riding the splash. No, nobody's doing that. All right, if you have questions for me, fire at will. You hate the cold days. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it when it gets that cold either, but cooling down a little bit is okay for, you know, a change, a change or two, but nonetheless. All right, so we addressed my time off. We addressed the Jason Isbell concert. Did we address anything else? Did we, did we, did we? I think we're done here. I think we're done here. Yeah, we're done. 70 is the perfect high. I would say more like 75, 78 is the perfect high. But that's just me. All right, I'm going to wrap this up and get on out of here. I've got stuff to do. I've got to get my mom settled, doctor's appointments, whatnot. I've got to do some yoga, find my center. I think today is day 19 of the 30 day challenge. I think. Um, going to do that too. Uh, da, 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 da. What games, Michael? What games? You mean the NFL games this weekend? Of course. I'll see some of them. And I'll do my picks for my football pool. How's my hair look without my hat? Looks awful, doesn't it? Okay. I know. All right, we're going to run. going to get out of here. Tired of hanging around. Leave me a message. I will get back to you. And enjoy the weekend. It's going to be beautiful. Up and down. Cooler on Saturday. Warmer on Sunday. Saturday's high again at 68. Sunday, 82. Slight chance of rain both days. It's going to be a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful weekend in the neighborhood. It's going to be great, 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 great. Awesome. Great to be alive and have good weather. Two thumbs up. Okay, I'm going to run. I'm going to... Get off here and answer some of your questions, and then we will uh, post this to YouTube. And if you can come over to YouTube and like it, that'd be great, too. All right, I'm going to run. Got to get out of town. Tired of hanging around. Have a great weekend.